The urgent manhunt to find this man is not slowing down this morning in Orange County. Ramon Alston is a convicted murderer. He escaped custody while outside an Orange County hospital around 7 yesterday morning. He's serving a life sentence after being convicted of killing this one-year-old girl, Malia Williams, on Christmas Day 2015 in Chapel Hill. WRL's Laura Levine joins us live from Durham Tech's Orange County campus, which is being used as a command post during the search. And Laura, we're expecting an update from authorities in just a few hours. Yes, Renee, and if you really think about it and put things into perspective, it was around this time yesterday when that inmate was making the travel here from Birdie County to Hillsborough. Now the convicted murderer is still out there, still on the run here at Durham Tech. You could see deputies parked outside of the building. We know Durham Tech Orange County campuses will activate and be under a yellow a code yellow, which essentially means that they will be remote today. If you get a good look at this photo, once again, the Orange County Sheriff's Office is searching for 30 year old Ramon Alston. He was last seen wearing handcuffs connected to a belly chain with a black box over the junction. Authorities have searched 580 acres, which includes a one mile radius around the UNC Hospital's Hillsboro campus. He escaped yesterday while he was being transported to receive care at the hospital. He freed himself from leg restraints, still in handcuffs, jumped out and ran into the woods. Investigators believe he had help getting away. We spoke with people who were nearby while the search continued. It's a good idea to go outside um, at the moment, and I could hear, you know, helicopters and everything. There was just like floods of uh, police officers coming in the building. Yeah, that was a student who had to stay indoors here at Durham Tech as this went on yesterday. We know that there is a $25,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. That briefing and update we're expecting to get will begin at 930 this morning. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Hillsboro.